Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be reviewing the Sephora um, Pantone Universe uh, Elemental Energy Palette. Um, I found this specific palette at Ross. Um, it was a complete random thing. I just was there. I was buying some other stuff and I stumbled upon this palette and just from looking at it I could tell that it was more expensive it was supposed to be more expensive but it didn't have a price so I was kind of like taking my chances so um, I took it up to the front and I asked the lady because there was no price and she said that she would only charge me five dollars for this palette so I was like cha-ching yes I will take it and then I went back and looked for more and I couldn't find any and I was super disappointed so I went to another Ross, and then I went to another Ross, and then I went to another Ross. Anywhere I saw a Ross, basically, I was like hunting for this palette because it's so pretty. I wanted to have like an extra. <laughs> um, so, and for $5, like that's a really good price. So, this is the palette. And I looked this palette up on eBay and Amazon, and it's going for $39.99, so like $40. Bucks, and it is from the 2014 Pantone series that they did. They do a Pantone palette every year with the, obviously the colors of the year and this was from 2014. So I finally kept looking for one and then I finally found one, I think yesterday, I found the, another one, another random Ross. And this time this one has the box. I'll show you what the box looks like. So this is what it looks like the box, the front, and this is the back. And same thing with this, this one did not have a price, so I took it up to the front and I asked the lady how much and she charged me $4.99 for this one also. So I got two of these for $10, which I think is a great deal. So um, I figured out why it's at Ross. The label on the back is actually like reversed is wrong so that's probably why it's at Ross um, I'll show you the back label this is what it looks like so these colors are actually on this side of the palette and these colors are on this side of the palette on the front so these are the colors so you have earth air no no earth air fire water and on the back this one is fire, this one's water, this one is earth, this one is air. So that's more than likely why it's at Ross because the label's wrong. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and swatch a couple of colors because they are really pretty. So I'm gonna swatch emerald, which is this green one right here on top. I'll swatch the green one. And then I'm also gonna swatch, uh, let's see, this color, which is called, I think it's called Dawn, so Dawn and Emerald, they're like super sparkly, glittery, and they're gorgeous. I actually wore this orange one today, so let's see, let's swatch that one, and I'm going to swatch the green one, and I love it because the glitter actually comes off, so as you can see they are sparkly. So they're super pigmented for $5. I think that's a great deal. Um, so I'm going to swatch. Let's see. Uh, let's do... It's so hard to tell what the colors are because they're reversed. So I'll swatch Ginger Snap, which is this color right here. And then I'm going to also swatch Crab Apple, which is this one right here. So I'm swatching the darker colors, or like the brighter kind of colors that you can see that swatch well because the other ones are kind of neutral, so you won't be able to really see them on my skin. They'll be great transition colors for me. So these are those two right there. So as you can see, like I said, they are super pigmented. And the palette just itself has like a magnetic um, acrylic cover so it just snaps on. Like this and 
to snatch right back on. So I think that this was a great deal. I was super excited when I got this and I was just like, Yee! I need another one. That's like the first thing that came to my mind is like, I need to find another one of these. So let me do a swatch of this purple color, which is called Sea Fog, I believe. This one right here. As you can see, like the chaos really well. So Sea Fog like a purple color and then let's do the teal blue which is this one right here it's super pretty and i love the embossment on these two if you can see so do sea fog put that right here oh yeah that's pretty so this one is sea fog right there it's like a turquoise green color that one and let's do one more I wanted this to be a shorter video um, just a quick review and first impression um, and just when I first saw this like I had to have it because it is so pretty and I'm really happy with the colors so let's swatch this one which is oh my gosh it's crazy uh, I think it's called nutmeg no ginger snap yeah so this one right here, ginger snap. And it's like a goldish bronzy color. So that's the swatch right there. And I, I'm really happy with the payoff. Like I think it's really good. Like I said, for $5, you can't go wrong. So if you guys live near, oh, oh I just dropped it. Well, another thumbs up. Super durable, as you just see. I just threw it across the floor because I drop everything in every single one of my videos. <laughs> um, and it didn't even break, so that's another thumbs up. Completely intact, and you heard it fall, you've seen it fall, didn't break, and the pants came out, and it was only $5. I think it's super pretty. Um, it's super like clean looking. It's really classy looking. I'd say this is one of the better looking palettes that I have, and I have quite a few from like Urban Decay, Too Faced, Lorac, and I like the way that this one looks the best. It is kind of big, but who's complaining? Let's see, 2.3 grams, uh, 16, 0.08 ounces. So each shadow is 0. 0.08 uh, ounces, so you get 2 grams in this whole palette, which is not really a lot, but like I said, $5, you can't complain. So that was my quick video, quick review on the Sephora Pantone Universe 2014 palette. Um, I did find it at Ross, and it was $4.99, so if you go to your Ross and they have it and there's no price on it, don't worry, just take it to the front and tell them like it's the only one over there. That's the other thing, it seems like these Rosses only have one, so if you find it, you should feel lucky <laughs> because it is hard to find. Um, so yeah, just go to the front, take it to them, and tell them this has no price. Um, also, I saw in one of the Rosses they had like a liquid glitter gel, like liquid liner. Um, I didn't get those because they look kind of dry and they were like $8, which I wasn't going to pay $8 for three of those and $5 for the palette. It just didn't make sense. Um, but if you want to, you can go ahead and do that. Um, and I only saw one of those at one Ross, so those seemed like they were kind of rare too. So yeah, that was my video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, please thumbs up this video. Feel free to comment below if you find one or if you're going to go look for one. Um, I'd be excited to see that. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos. I will see you guys soon. Bye.